Understanding Concerto Grosso, a journey into classical music terms. Hello everyone, today, we're diving into the fascinating world of classical music terminology. Our focus is on understanding the term, Concerto Grosso, whether you're a music enthusiast, a student, or just curious about classical music, this video will enhance your understanding of this unique musical form. Concerto Grosso is a term from the Baroque period of classical music. It refers to a specific type of musical composition that was very popular in the 17th and 18th centuries. The key feature of a concerto grosso is the contrast and interplay between a small group of soloists, known as the concertino, and a larger group, called the ripieno, or tutti. This back and forth creates a dynamic and engaging musical conversation. The concerto grosso form emerged in Italy and quickly spread throughout Europe. It represented a significant shift in musical composition, focusing on the contrast between different groups of instruments. Famous composers like Arcangelo Corelli, Antonio Vivaldi, and Johann Sebastian Bach made substantial contributions to this form. Their works highlight the creative possibilities of the Concerto Grosso. A typical Concerto Grosso has several movements, often contrasting in tempo and character. The most common structure is the fast-slow-fast pattern. The concertino group usually consists of two to four solo instruments, often strings, while the ripieno is a larger ensemble, providing a full, rich background. The interplay between the two groups creates a vibrant musical tapestry, full of contrasts in texture and volume. The concerto grosso had a profound influence on the development of the concerto form. It paved the way for the classical solo concerto, popularized by composers like Mozart and Beethoven. The principles of dialogue between groups and contrasting textures continue to inspire composers even in modern times. We hope this exploration of the concerto grosso has been enlightening and enjoyable. It's a testament to the richness and diversity of classical music. Remember, music is not just about listening, it's about understanding the history and ideas behind the compositions. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the world of music.